Hello beautiful Cancer and welcome to your end of year tarot guidance with me Julie Paul. This is a general tarot reading for the last couple of weeks of 2023. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome or welcome back. We're going to be looking at what you're wrapping up, what you're finishing off and what you're opening up to in these last two weeks. So what's going on for my Cancers please? And yes, the Christmas vibe, making an effort. Happy Christmas to all. Happy holidays. All right, what have we got for my lovely Cancers, please? Okay, yin to the sea. Oh, and we have two. Deep knowing and truth be told. Okay, so let's start off with the yin energy. This beautiful energy, which is the feminine to be, to feel into it, to go into that intuition to allow the flow of information to come through because there is a deep knowing here that wants to come out. This owl is sitting on the moon and the moon symbolizes what we don't know, what's hidden, what's deeper down. We know we're deep down, but we've just got to dive a little bit in to get it up. So we're going to use that yin energy to feel into it. We're going to go into that deep knowing and we're going to be very truthful about it. Another owl. So we've got two owls here and the owl symbolizes wisdom. Now this owl is holding that window open and the mask underneath saying, as we come into this truth from a place of deep knowing, the wisdom taps in and we become aware. Once we're aware, we can then cleanse it clear it, mend it, fix it, wash it away. The to the sea card is all about being able to let something go. So there's something here, let's bring the camera down and add in the tarot. There's something here that you need to know that you need to tap into before we finish this year off, all right? So let's find out what it is. Ooh, the emperor, power. Big power here for you, Cancer. A lot of empowerment all right we're taking action with the knight of wands truth be told there's the moon again we've got to allow that to come up so that it can end with the world card all right that's the tarot of dreams let's get a couple of these this is the moon and stars tarot okay nine of pentacles nice seven of cups choices options four of swords taking a step back and death right there is a definite shift here the world is an ending a big major cycle closing out and the death is also endings transformation so it's a double message here that by coming into the awareness and taking action on it and then we can clear it put it behind us leave it in the past, not bring it forward with us into 2023. We'll find out more when we bring in another tarot deck to clarify, but let's look at what we've already got. So we've got this yin energy, this beautiful flowing gentle energy here that we are tapping into that internal power, the emperor. There he is with his two staffs. I'm in charge. This is my life. This is my world. What am I doing, creating, being, what does it feel like? You're just stepping into all of that in a very independent way. Nine of Pentacles, right? First of all, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is mini Empress energy. She is affluent. She is successful. She is fiercely independent. She might be in a relationship, but she doesn't need to be because she can provide for herself. She might want to be, but she doesn't need to be. It's that independent energy of I provide my needs financially, emotionally. I'm grounded. I'm secure. I'm stable. You're really feeling into that power and that independence to be able to step then into this inner knowing. When we are coming at kind of doing some exploration, doing some reflection, when we come at that from a place of fear or disempowerment, then we don't find what we're looking for. We need to be in that power and that's what you've got. So you're in this power to go, right, let's have a little look here back at what's going on right now, how has the year been, the whole thing, and then I'm going to feel into it to allow the knowing to come up and I'm going to take action on it. 
it's leading me to the seven of cups which is choices so as i feel into my deep knowing and I step into this truth be told, being truthful with myself. You know, we, we do, tend, we're masters of deception. We really are. We can convince ourselves black is white when it suits us. But this is a time when we're really being very truthful. Is this the right job? Is this the right relationship? Is this friendship serving me? Are my commitments healthy or, or you know, unhealthy? Where are my boundaries? You're looking at all of that deeper stuff. Um, you could be looking at in terms of your home, your finances, looking at everything from a very empowered way and saying, right, I'm looking at my options and choices. So, for example, you might look at everything and say, financially, I'm constantly chasing my tail, you know, having to work extra hours. This isn't going to be healthy for me or sustainable long term. So what am I going to do about it? Now I'm looking at options. Perhaps I need a different job. Perhaps I need to relocate. Um, they're just saying to me, remember when I had a job 15 miles away years ago, this was, and I had small children at the time and I was really struggling financially. And I looked at the whole thing and went, if I lived like within two miles of where I work, I would save myself on the childcare, the travel costs, my time, everything else. And that's what I did. I moved closer to the job and everything eased off you know it's that we're looking at these options and choices like that now it doesn't have to be as something as big as moving home but it may be a rebalancing a rebooting they show me another example now especially at this time of year at christmas when you perhaps got visitors coming um there isn't enough room in my kitchen there isn't enough space so you go into all your cupboards and you chuck stuff out and you reorganize and you know you so that it now works you're looking at those kinds of things so in all different areas because this is about just getting your life in order before you hit the end of the year so that you come into 2024 fresh and clean all right we'll find out why in a minute so this truth be told I need to be really honest with myself and with others I'm going to drop the mask of putting that thick smile on saying everything's fine when it's not fine I'm going to be real I'm going to be truthful I'm going to dive deep and I'm going to reflect four of swords this is a card often of recuperation after illness or overworking, exhaustion. And that's one of the things for many of you that you will be feeling at this time of year. You know, we get so exhausted by the end of the year and then we've got a big Christmas to sort out or whatever. And it's like, I haven't got the energy. It's like, right, well, what do I need to do then in terms of restructuring my life so that I have more energy? Um, so what do I need to do? OK, there's so many different scenarios this can be. But certainly what I'm getting for a lot of you, cancer, is tiredness. A lot of hours at work and then you might have children as well and the home. And it's like, I can't fit it all in. What can I do to help myself streamline it better so you're working things out and then you're going to cleanse and clear rest recuperate have a good night's sleep get in the bath get in the shower wash it all away and allow all of that whether it's exhaustion or stress or whatever it is for you to close out and end so that you come into the new year feeling fresh and vibrant and ready for the new year. So let's find out a little bit more. Um, this is the Rider Waite deck. Tell me a little bit more for cancer, please. Tell me more. Give me some more guidance for them. All right. So we've got the Nine of Cups. Lovely. All right. Stop a minute. They're saying, OK. So what is the dream? What is the wish? What is the goal? Because that's the Nine of Cups. Is the goal to do less hours, to have more money, to have better relationships, to have more love? What is the goal for you? So you're going deep and you're allowing to close off what needs to go and you're creating space. This is the law of attraction stuff. I talk about this in my book a lot. Um, this is you getting very clear in the next two weeks about what the dream and the wish and the goal is. OK, and it wants to come in. 
and you're going to step into the creative energy of the Empress to make it happen. So the Empress is Venus led. This is beauty. This is abundance. This is wonderful flowing relationships. This is clear communication. I'm sowing the seeds here for what I want to plant for myself, what I want to achieve for myself as we move into 2024. And if you haven't seen your 2024 readings yet, I'll link it up here at the end and you can have a look at that one for you, Cancer. But this is, I'm creating something here. I'm identifying my goals and I'm stepping into the creative energy to make them happen. <laughs> to the sea and truth be told with the five of cups the regrets the sadness what hasn't worked what's gone wrong this year what's been difficult what's been challenging let's recognize it see it so that we can take the learning we're going to clear it we're going to let it go and um, we're going to be very truthful with ourselves in may and not just in the next two weeks but this is a reflective time so you may be looking back saying well this was february march and there was some loss or regret um and am i still holding on to that now at the end of the year if i am i want to cleanse it clear it and let it go it wants to end it wants to complete okay tell me more for my cancers please page of pentacles as you identify those goals you then step into the opportunities to create them into reality so the page of pentacles is the doors opening up for new money a new job perhaps for some of you or a new business um looking at your investments your finances this could be you deciding you want your own business or you want to get promoted and have a new job next year you're, you're identifying those goals and you want to bring them into reality ace of swords a new clarity the empress creating a beautiful life that is getting clear on what does that beautiful life look like feel like you, you're really going to mm, imagine it and get very clear in your thoughts about what it is that you want to create you are in a creative flow right now right now you're in that creative flow and that feels good tell me about this five of cups time for you to have a rebirth to rise up like the phoenix coming out of that energy clearing it finishing it this card comes before this one all right so i've looked at everything i'm clearing it i'm taking the learning and then i'm letting it go i'm rising up i'm just letting everything go and i'm coming into a brand new fresh start so what's the fresh start what is the fresh start much more balance beautiful because i was picking up for many of you this exhaustion over over committing overworking over just too much so we want to pull back we want to get our life in balance get our emotions in balance this is a healing energy it is just everything coming back into a good place that's centered and balanced and flowing and working well that's the main goal for you that's what you want to achieve okay i want another couple tell me a bit more please for my cancers you're moving forward the eight of wands this is a it's the minor arcana equivalent to the chariot. So it's an energy here, of forward motion. The brakes are off. There's nothing in the way. I can move myself forward to my wishes, dreams and hopes. I can create these new opportunities and I can bring them in towards me. Now, some of you, this is going to come in in the next two weeks. You may already have created those opportunities and here you're hearing news, all right, because this is often news is coming in. So especially if you created it before Mercury went retrograde on the 13th, you could be hearing in the next two weeks the news from that and that feels really good. Okay, what else? Let's find out some more. Tell me some more for my cancers, please. What else? Okay. We were... <laughs> All right, we want the two of pentacles, which is the minor arcana equivalent of that. We are then moving into the six of pentacles and the hermit wants to be here as well, which is another card of contemplation. What is it? What is right for me? All right, often we live our life for and through other people. But what is right for me? 
we're shining a light on you right now cancer this next two weeks is about you yes of course at this time of year with christmas and the holidays we're thinking of others and we're gifting and supporting others and spending time with others but make sure this time for you too right prioritize the balance for you prioritize you receiving the six of pentacles is the card of receiving so am i receiving help and support if you're one of those people that everybody comes to you for christmas and you're doing all the cooking and all the cleaning and all the dishes and all the everything no 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 we're going to open up to some balance here with people helping you and doing it giving you some support maybe this is the year you go to them for christmas fabulous let them do it but you're on the receiving end here of balance you're on the receiving end of a new beginning which i like for you very much and there is the justice wanting to come in for you what is just what is fair what is balanced again because we have the scales of justice so with the truth of the sword of truth we've got truth here and justice is also about truth so we have a very strong energy of you opening up to being very aware of what works what doesn't being in your power to bring up to the surface anything that's hidden talk it through talk it out then let it go and making sure that you are putting yourself in a position that's very balanced and very fair for you so fairness justice balance that is your key energy for the next two weeks let's get an angel card to finish off final message for cancer please final message for cancer thank you receptivity so they say i meant what i said okay because this is the card of receiving we've got balance we've got fairness so be open to receive you are in the energy where there's such good stuff wanting to come down and pour over you so cancer that's what I have for you for the end of year, the next couple of weeks until we hit January 2024. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, give it a like. That would be amazing. But before you go, quick, quick, don't go just yet. I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for your support, your time on my channel the support of each other because i read all your comments and i see the way that you comment on each other's stuff it's just beautiful thank you for being part of this community we've grown about 30 percent this year and that's down to you so thank you so much have a very happy christmas happy holidays and a happy new year and i'll be back very early january with your january monthly tarot guidance you take care all my love. Bye-bye.